So new this morning, canines. We know they're really important to a lot of local law enforcement agencies. They have such a strong sense of smell that they might find what officers miss. Yeah, so I'm going to introduce you to the newest member to the Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office. Pixel, who blames her name is really quite fitting, is the first canine in the area that's trained to sniff out hard drives and SIM cards. Her face is as cute as her nose is keen. Yes, go girl. All right, good job. This is Pixel. Let's go girl. Seek. And she's trained to sniff out electronic yeah, devices Seek. like USB drives or SIM cards. So there's a substance sprayed on the memory chips um, that keeps it from overheating. And it's the industry standard and that's the odor that she's she's trained on. Investigator Sean Lacey is Pixel's handler. Seek. He wanted to show me just how quickly she could pick up a scent. So to get the best video, we put our GoPro on the side of the car, not realizing this would happen. See? Yes. Show me. Yes. Show me. Yes, good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, good job, Pixel. That's an easy odor for her to find because it's right about nose level. Come here, let's go to work. Her skilled snout is also to thank for making recent arrests. We actually worked a case recently with another jurisdiction where they found air tags hidden in a car. So we were called out to verify that there were no more tracking devices on a car. Pixel can also clear buildings. In this boardroom, which appears to be empty, she found a USB tucked between two chairs Seek. and a hard drive at the bottom of a tissue box that was filled in. Yes, show me. Show me, show me. Yes, go girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. While these are exercises, investigator Lacey says this happens every day. Predators who exploit children try to hide their electronic devices. Pixel finds them and gives law enforcement enough power to prosecute. Any evidence Pixel finds, let's say a cell phone that has been tossed into the wood line, can help close cases and bring closure to families. Yes, go girl. Yes, go girl. But her qualities reach far beyond the brush. <laughs> Pixel is a trained therapy dog, helping victims in high stress moments and even the employees within the sheriff's office. We're confronted with crises every single day, all day. And to have something that you can just forget about the road, leave all that stuff behind, come pet the dog and, and see her excitement to see you. How, I mean, how can you not love that? <sighs> I mean, come on, how can you not love that? I didn't want to leave. And by the way, Pixel comes at no cost to the agency or the people of Isle of Wight. That's thanks to the nonprofit organization Operation Underground Railroad. It was created to protect kids from sex trafficking and sexual exploitation. And through donations, they provide canines like Pixel to agencies all across the country. How cool is that? Such an important job. She, of course, has a very sweet face, like you mentioned, too. How do you not love that? Does she have any uh, canine company in the department? She does. She's got some other friends in the U. Unit. I spent some time while I was there with Mac, who is a tracking and trailing canine. We've got some video to show you there, too. So we set up this scenario where he had to find Captain Tommy Potter. He is still in training, but, you know, we kind of watched as he picked up his scent and then watch this. There he is. A successful wow. mission. He found him all the way hiding behind a bunch of cars, too. That's like me with nachos. I could sniff him right out. Sniff him right out. We also saw K9 Max at work who focuses on finding drugs. So he did a search on a vehicle that was nearby and he was able to find drugs that were actually stuffed way back in a tire. And interestingly about Max, he was in the shelter before coming to the department and wow. he is really making some great strides in his training. So the reason we bring it back to this that we show you these canines today is just to give you a peek at what closes cases because a lot of times they close child exploitation cases and drug charges and all these kinds of stuff. So this protects citizens in Isle of Wight, neighboring jurisdiction, and these canines are a big part of that. Yeah, crime doesn't know city or county yeah. lines. So some important work these dogs are doing and such sweet, sweet animals too. All right, thanks for sharing that with us. It's 647.